Good day everyone. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of this gaming RAM by Corsair. It's called Vengeance. Uh, it's a DDR4 RAM with 266 megahertz. Um, this one is one module with 8 gig of memory. I just want to install to my notebook. And it's so unfortunate that my notebook already have an 8 gig pairs, a pair of 4 gig, which is a total of 4 gig. But I just want to do the upgrade anyway. Some people said when you're doing this, the dual channel RAM doesn't work. But as for my understanding, as long as it is the same megahertz frequency, it should work. But anyway, for, for some users, they just want to um, pair this up for better uh, compatibility, which is very true in fact. But in this case, uh, I have limited of budget, so I'm going to upgrade one at a time. And then this is for, uh, for an upgrade to 16 gig because I'm planning to buy another 8 gig module in soon, which I will, I will trade this one up. So, but for the meantime, I just stick to a 12 gig uh, arrangement, 4 gig and 8 gig. And hopefully it will be, it will be okay and work flawlessly. Okay, let's see. So I have two models here. I know my RAM is uh, the speed of this uh, DDR4, the Corsair Vengeance is 266, 6 megahertz, which I know the Samsung is matching that speed. I'm not sure if you can focus this one, 2666. Okay, so this is the A data which I previously buy. I just want to see the speed. Oh, see, this is 2400. Okay, so it's 2400 megahertz, which I will discard this one because of the frequency speed compatibility, which is this one is match up. So uh, this one I will put in the thread in. So I will open this one and then just thread in this off. Okay. So let me just quickly open this guy. Uh, for you guys does, which are uh, new to my channel, I already show how to open this laptop. This is HP Pavilion, the new model, the CX model. Um, it's already, uh, for, I think, half a month already since I bought it. So I just remove the stickers. So let me open this RAM module. Basically, this is it. A one slot of Corsair Vengeance. Let me open it. Make sure I touch metal, but I already touched this RAM. Hopefully it will good. Nowadays, electronics are very, uh, very, very much durable to anti-static charge. So they're not easily spoiled by a simple mistake of user so basically they are both the same size nothing much different there's no metal shield or things it's basically in very standard configuration and module size not much different so let's insert first we pull out the latch here and it says like this so uh, we, we push it and we hit the click it should be good now right so now we put the ddr put the, the the other one ram here so it does not i mean any incident that causing not to function later okay i'm going to trade off this one so hopefully i it will pound a new buyer online hopefully so just put it back Okay now, the moment of truth, let's boot up this laptop. Now remember, if you, um, if you first time installing the RAM, it may take a couple of restart for your laptop to compatible with the new memory that you install. So for the first time, it may not happen. But what I do is just, I just want to make sure it, it's bootable. No issue with the RAM or whatsoever. So let's try to boot it up. Seems it take a bit of. Let's see if the HDD is spinning. 
Nah, all right, now it's cool. So you see the HP logo, you see the Windows loading. Now it is good, okay? So until it started, I will make it shut. Just wait a second, then I will install the cover back again. So we are good. The things boot up, so let me just quickly shut this PC up so so I can close the lid seems responsive also shut down shut down anyway okay Okay, now it's all off. Okay, so let's install this cover. And after that, we check the memory configuration. Everything's plugging in, no issue. Okay. Snap it, always snap it one at a time so you don't put pressure to the, the locking mechanism. Okay. Okay, make sure everything is aligned. Here's a bit. Okay, now it's in. Let's check here. Everything is in. Okay, so now the laptop is basically in one piece. Then we can apply the screw. for the front remember guys if you are new to laptop upgrading make sure this screw you don't over tighten it else because this thing is a plastic it will just loose and break make sure you just do snuggle when it's fit that's it stop Never over tighten things because these are small mechanisms, screw mechanism will just easily destroy if you over tighten stuff. Okay. Now it's good, it's locked. For this one also. Okay, it's cool. And for the one here, for the back screw. This laptop is easily to maintain. It's just a six screw in total, just to get access to the inside. So not much an issue to open. Remember guys, again, just snuggle it. One is tight, that's it. No, don't over tighten it. Okay, this one cool. Yeah, I don't want it the screw rubber to be jump. Else it will lose make the screw grip loose. And then this rubber piece put it back. Align it. That's it. Okay, you good. The other one. And basically that's it. Okay. So everything is in place, turn back the laptop on to see the memory configuration, is it detecting the other 8 gig module just installed. I think it's still in the middle of... Uh, Processing that extra RAM that it have. Usually, once you pre once you press this on button, it should be directly into this loading sequence. But that might possible. 
will be, be faster after a few times of booting process. Remember guys, this module that the air data RAM that I was just taking out is a 4 gig RAM. So should be now instead of uh, it become 8 gig, it should become 12 gig or something near that. Because Windows sometimes do the the other extra RAM for catching and stuff. So let's check the moment of truth, guys. So again, guys, the moment of truth. Let's see how the installation went. So we, let's just go to properties. All right, see guys, there's a 12 gig of RAM. So the installation went well. Okay, so let's see the task manager. Okay, performance. So it just used 24%. For, from the overall 12 gig memory which is good but uh, I think after for the times of uh, installation I mean not installation reboot reboot and restart now the computer will getting used to the memory that it have so from there you can see the performance and then we can conclude and I think that's not the necessary part the thing is the RAM has been installed and it's working for you guys who new to my channel, uh, you, this uh, I hope you subscribe because my channel uh, is very informational and slop lot, lots of tips and advice for tech and automotive, uh, which I review, uh, which is also self-funded. So guys, your support is matter to me. So till then, see you on the next video. Goodbye.